Привет. Welcome. One hundred and ten percent. Of course, I was gonna be here three days in a row. When was the last time this happened? Twice before this, it was two. Last time it was one. This time it is three. And this may be out a bit later today by the time you're hearing this now because, of course, I'm going at my own pace, so... I took a nap. <laughs> a very long three-hour nap from when I woke up. Then I had an, an omelette. And um, then I hung out with my dog, and here I am. Ready, so welcome. My name is James. And today we are going to follow this fox. And hope to almighty... Lord and Savior Talos above that this game does not freeze once or twice like it did yesterday because it did yesterday. I'm not sure why it did. Why did I talk? Why did I say anything? I literally should have just said nothing. Oh my god. I think what's causing it is because I have um, Audacity recording as well. Now, I don't actually use the Audacity recording anymore because um, the base recording is good enough, thankfully. Uh, Lydia, you are slogging behind. Um, but I have it just as a backup in case something goes wrong with the audio, but uh, what I might do is I might just... I, it's not that big a deal. I can just I can just cut any time it freezes. It's kind of funny as well, so... Um, thank you for all your wonderful comments again. You guys are actually overwhelming me with your kindness. It's not even funny. <laughs> um, I didn't expect so many of you to be enjoying this so much, so... And... Uh, I'm trying to get the beginning half of the story out of the way because I much prefer the second half of Skyrim's story than I do the first half. Um, the first half is the one I struggle to get through the most, um, to be honest. And yes, yes, my, my, my young apprentice, my friend, I do indeed know of the elven artifacts in the companion's chests locked behind that expert chest. But uh, I am too lazy to try and open them because I'll probably fail miserably and I have very few lockpicks and I don't want to bore you so um yes but hey maybe we'll go to it when we I'll climb a bit like in the next uh segment of our journey or something you never know we could do it later we could do it tomorrow you know we have we have plenty of time um so for now um yes I am not going to ask again for now, we're going to uh, kill this thief, kill this um, absolute, um, kill this absolute peasant who wants to do powerful uh, power attacks to kill us. Oh my god, man! I'm barely it. Thief, thief, Lydia. Is this gonna be another? Yeah, no, there was a freeze. If you're if you're wondering what happened there, there was another one. I just skipped it completely, so that's what it'll look like if I skip it. I just wanted to clarify this time. Oh, I promise you it's not going to be another um, millennium of me giving out to Lydia for her um, her pungent scent. Um, you know, you'd wonder how these people smell, man. Probably not very good. <laughs> what you'd wonder. So right now what we're going to do is we're rushing to Iverstead. I said last time I had a plan. Uh, the plan was to climb to the top of the throat of the world. Um, receive the Chamber of Secrets quest, do the Chamber of Secrets quest uh, out in Ustengrav, uh, return the horn to... What's his name? Eingard? Eingard? Oh my god, has it been that long? I've actually forgotten them. Oh no. The old Arangar. That's it. Old greybeard dude Arangar. <laughs> and then we'll get the ritual done for unrelenting force and then we'll have a fully powered uh, physical ragdoll simulator at the uh, sheer touch of our Z key and uh, we're like right, look at that it's very weak all it does is stagger it staggers this big big elk um also yes even though russell i seen the shield in the last playthrough and said I would use it, you are in fact right. I did not use the banded iron shield of waning fire against the dragon that was killing me. You are indeed correct. Now, I don't think it would have saved me, personally. Okay? Personally, I don't think it would have saved me. There is never a bear on this road. 
They're always behind the cave. I am not even trying this, bro. Lydia, you are on your own. I am sorry. I am not playing. A, I am not playing a loyal orc. I'm just playing an orc. All right. I never said I had loyalty to you. Okay. So we're out of here. Give me your pelts. You come over here too. There we go. Ah, oh, at least we're instant killing the wolves now. I'm. It might seem like a, like not a whole, you know, slew of progress, but like going from killing enemies, certain enemies in three hits to one. Is progress. <laughs> Same way we're scared of the bears right now. We won't be later. You know? We'll be one-shotting the bears and stuff. And, and that'll be awesome. That'll be fun. Is this one of those random... Fight to the death guys? What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? I, I don't want to fight him because... For some reason, the orcs I play... Uh, don't ever end up like the orcs that guy is basically like. So... <laughs> He will kill us, and I don't want to die. So I'm going to do the rational thing and leave. Although I'm sure, I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure we'll see him again. Did, did, I just seen, tell, what? So much happened there, did I, I, so much just happened there. I just seen not only a spider, there was an, a bear there. Our singing boy was there. I'm so grateful I saved. I am so grateful. So very grateful I chose to save. Because... Because I would have had to walk all of that again. And, and I didn't want to do that, guys. <laughs> um, I will continue to give as many tidbits of information as possible. Even if it doesn't seem that important. Um, I will give a lot. Uh, but right now to really... Oh, for God's sake. There really isn't that much to give. Like, at all. Um, we're just making our way over to... We're just making our way to Iverstead. That's it. I seen another... Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Let's just run by the spider. <laughs> I don't think it's worth fighting. Well, the reason I got confident there is because I seen a second arrow come by. I think Lydia just wanted to bait me. I think she shot the arrow and said, now he's going to engage and I'm going to hide. And then she hid. And then a wolf came out of nowhere. Although I assume the wolf was up here or something. We're just going to walk onto Iverstead, though. Like now. We're not going to make any more detours. No more detours. We now... We now make our way there. Come here, Wolfie. Well, the spider aggro's from really far away, man. No, I'm out of here. You are not attacking me. Have I passed Ivory's dead? How did we end up so far out? <laughs> no wonder the track is different. That makes sense. Wow, we, we, we ended up... God, that'll tell you how rusty I am with this, man. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, look, there's Iverstead. We we just went completely off the beaten path. Ah, well, listen. At least we found our way regardless, so I don't think it really matters. Um, I'm going to take Klimex quest because it's just a bulk amount of gold at the beginning. For free. Just do it. All you have to do is take it because you're heading that direction anyway. And then... Um, Deliver and then put the supplies in a chest come back and get the reward now. It is level loot So the longer you leave it the more gold you get <laughs> But um by the time it ends up being like a Thousand two thousand gold you you could pretty you can make a thousand two thousand gold now So y you know just do just do the fucking quest guys <laughs> Don't delay them because you need them at certain point. Just do them You'll get gold You'll sell so- you'll find so much enchanted stuff, it doesn't matter. Don't even try and be efficient. What's the point? Be efficient with combat. Everything else, you can slog about in. Be lazy. Uh, I don't really remember to be in any warranting rewards for this place here. That barrow. It's a fun quest. <laughs> it's very cool. Narfi, I'm coming for your ass later, bro. Maybe. I don't know, I'll, th I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Um, Alright, let's grab some of these. What is going on with my game? 
Why is everyone spawning in so late? I swear to God, I have no idea what's. Is it the unofficial patch causing. Is the unofficial patch bugging my game? I know that's ironic, but. It seems to be that way. Let's make a proper save here at the front of the 7,000 steps. Now, I'm not sure if you guys actually want to see me climb these. But I'm going to show you anyway. Because I have to do it. And you said you want this. So as you can tell, I'm having a, a lot of fun. Wait, is four not flames? No, four is bow. Five is flames. Lydia. Please, I don't want to be on my own. On the... Watch it now, right? Watch, um... Watch an ice wolf spawn. When we get to the top. That'll be my luck. My luck will be the Ice Wolf spawn. Or the Saber Tooth. Either way, uh, ice creatures in this game are resilient. They are resilient. We will struggle. We will feel the full force of their sting. Their cold, cold sting. I'm going to wait an hour and see if she follows up. There she is. <laughs> Hello, random praying hunter. We're making our way up to two and a half, I mean to 7,000 steps. Remember guys, as cool as ratings are and stuff, what I'd really appreciate is if you left a comment below, like you have been. Um, at the time this comes out, I, oh for God's sake, I told you, I told you, I feckin' told you, I told you, I told you, I told you, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it Lydia, <laughs> kill it, kill it, yeah, you go girl. You go. Yeah, you do that dirty work. Ah, it's not too bad, man, actually. <laughs> ah, goody be. That's Videnia. Alright. Good job, Lydia. You're not getting a raise, but good job. Now, I did just quick save. I did save, don't worry. I did indeed. I did indeed. Ah, you know what? We're probably about halfway there, I'd say. At this point. Um, so, what I'm hoping to do right after this is finish Ustengrav with some decent loot coming out of it. Um, maybe a level up or two. Um, the one part I am surefire not dreading. I just don't like it because it's it's cool, and it's lore implications are awesome. It's the ritual. I'm sure all of you are like that, you know? Like, the reason I probably don't like this walk as much is because even though some of the enemies change a bit, I know what enemies are going to be. Like, I can, can predict every single thing that's going to happen as I go up this mountain. Um... Jesus, we've climbed high already. And obviously when you know what's going to happen in some long trek with like no checkpoints in the center or anything like that. Because this game doesn't really have checkpoints. Auto saving, I don't really think counts as checkpoints. Like, does it? I mean, <clears throat> you can overwrite the auto save. It would be a bit different if the auto save couldn't be overwritten. But because it can be by you immediately... At any instance of your... Oh, fuck. Oh, this looks familiar. Oh, god damn it. I forgot about this. Shit. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Um, nothing to fret. Nothing to fret. That is a big booty. Big booty. Lydia. Get over here. Get over here. Don't stand in the way of my arrows. Although I'm 90% sure, certain. I'm, I'm, I am, I am certain. We are not going to kill this thing. We do not output enough damage, Lydia. But we're going to try our best. We're going to try our best. Even with Berserker's Rage, look at this, man. I'm one point off being able to get 60% of my two-handed weapon, so that's awesome. 
I'm not wasting a vegetable soup on this. I don't want to. We shouldn't need to. Oh no, Lydia's really dead. Come on, Lydia. A couple of staggers here, a couple of staggers there, and we're done. Oh my. Ooh, yeah, boy. Let's go. You did shit, Lydia. You did shit. Fucking teamwork, girl. Who needs Teldrin? We are efficient swords slash hammer men. Slash bowmen, slash Lydia men, slash orc men. Again, I, I know it feels like, I, I feel like I keep explaining myself and it's probably some of you are sitting there going like, Jim, shut up. You're fine. Um, But I'm, I don't have any information to give right now. There's not really anything happening, like I said. I've already explained, like, I'll explain it again. How I deal with combat is uh, power attack when you get the chance. That's what the vegetable soup is great for because it constantly gives you one tick of stamina every single second. You always have it. So when you finish the power attack, you have one tick of stamina every time. There's no cancellations from when you run out of stamina once you utilize the vegetable soup. Also, i seen a bunch of you leaving comments saying that, Oh, James, I know you said you didn't want us to mention vegetable soup. Guys, you can mention vegetable soup. Go ahead. However, leave your name and address so I know where to send the police. For this heinous crime you've committed. Jesus. Right, well, we did it. We made it. We made it to High Hrothgar. Where we are now going to have to do some practicing with our shouts. Some training. Hello, Talos. Hello, Ancient Pillar. Hello, Snowbetties. Hello, other. I will pick you. Alright. Let's throw Climax supplies in this chest. I think at least. The least value is 500. So I think you will get 500 from this. Although I think I'll get more because I'm a higher level. Um. Yeah, you guys might have a thing for carrots, but they're my carrots now. I only picked one up, so. <laughs> Just walk into High Rock, I'm munching on a carrot. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, what you want? <laughs> I want to see that as a mod now. <clears throat> so, I am. I'm here. Taste me, daddy. Dragonborn appears. Oh, I used Berserker's Rage by Ag Oh, no, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Let's wait 24 hours again. Well done, James. But guys, please give us any tips you have. Help each other out. A lot of you said you've re-downloaded the game, so... Um, help each other out, bro. You know? Help each other out. Man, you guys, wait till we get to, wait till we get to five episodes and we're, we're still in it. And you're like, James, this is, you're, are you okay? Touch his head. Is that a fever you have? You can't be okay. Then we get to ten episodes and it's like double digits. Double rainbow. Uh, I do like to do this, by the way, where I run into a character and stagger their, their dialogue. So it interrupts it and ends it early. If you don't want to sit through everything, it saves a few seconds oh, in total, so... Like, like you can skip this here. Um, wait till he walks back. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. I don't think you can interrupt him with- yeah, you can, but he's already saying row. So, foos row. Let's be honest, guys. Nobody uses row. No one. It's not worth it. It's a little bit of an extra stagger. If you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Row ain't gonna save you. The only row you'll be doing is rowing yourself on a boat into a into a river as a celebration of your morning death. I do like the the as I said before the implications of lore here. Very interesting. Like I love finding out about uh, Big Daddy Arangar's uh, love for sucking in dragons energy. He does it on his pastimes. Loves a bit of that dragon suckling. Alright, so now we just gotta wait for this to... Waiting doesn't skip this, by the way, because they're set on a timer in the script, so... 
So you, you, there's no point in doing this and then waiting an hour to to reset your shout. Cause look, it doesn't speed it up. Patience is key, my friends. Shit. I think that said steel. But these guys are neutral, so I can shit in your pot and you can't do anything to me. You need me, although you don't care. No one in this game seems to care that they need me. Even though they need me. I never looked up. I never decided to look up and see the Bethesda just decided to do that. Oh, also, what does everyone here think of Starfield? Basically, everyone in my personal life isn't excited at all for it. I'm pretty much the only person who is. Which is usually expected. I swear I just heard a bang behind me. <gasps> my doggy! Hello! Excited to lie behind me. Um, I'm excited for it. I always get excited for Bethesda games, though, so... Even though they've shit down my throat multiple times, so... That's a joke. I, I, I love them. I love you, Bethesda. I love you in all your games. Ignore my crude humor. I'm nothing but a little edgelord waiting to play your... Sky Simulator game. Alright, now we can wait for this. Master Body. Honestly, more people should use, um, Whirlwind Sprint. Get full Whirlwind Sprint. Full Whirlwind Sprint is really decent. You can make a lot of distance on the map with it. The first one is as well, like, I mean, the first one... The first one is nice. You know, there's some instances you'll find use in it, very specific ones. But if you just look up the other two places where you find the other two keywords for a whirlwind sprint, which don't be afraid to, guys. I always felt threatened about looking up guides and stuff in games. When I started streaming, I wouldn't do it because everyone would... When I would, there would be people who would <coughs> criticize it and tell me the fun is in learning yourself and that. I mean, the other day, for example, because I'm playing Factorio, I... Uh, I decided uh, to try and play it in a way that I followed people's designs, and I was bored, senseless. So I now know Factorio for me is more fun when I when I do stuff myself, when I figure it out myself. Although there is no harm in learning efficient ways of improving your game, but same with this game, man. I don't know where the other two shouts are, and I don't want to look through 150 plus dungeons for them. So there's absolutely no harm in you looking stuff up, and if anyone tells you otherwise, um. Fusro shut them up with the power of um, demand and apology. I love how to get you to do this once. <laughs> Look, regardless of if it's only been, you know, regardless if it's been 20 minutes of me just doing this or what, I've been having fun, you know. Um, I've been having fun talking, babbling, you know. This part of the game isn't really very fast. There's not a flow to it. There is a flow, but the flow is in the sense that you are discovering locations in different parts of the map. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You there. You're the one. You're when Lord appears, oh no. Oh no. Come on, guys. Please. Ba ba -boo He's just walking over my dead body. Right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. <laughs> Come on, guards. As long as I just don't die, it's fine. As long as they don't kill Klimek. Please don't kill him. Look at this guy. Oh, I delivered your supplies. Hey, 500 gold. Thanks, Klimek. I appreciate you, bro. Oh, go on, the Klimmy! Go on! The fucking Klimmy! Oh, we love the Klimmy! <clears throat> Let's go! This fucking unit! Just be careful not to hit the guards. Hey, let's go, boys. Aboard the vessel Northern Maiden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, here comes a question from everyone. But James, are you gonna do it? Am I gonna do what, little Edward? <sighs> are you gonna do the DLCs? DLCs, you say? What DLCs? Critically acclaimed third release DLC for Skyrim that came out in 2013, 14. Dragonborn. Maybe. <clears throat> we'll see. We will see. Give me some more money, please. I want more money. I said no. I said no. No adventures. No theatrics. You've done me and my sister a great service. I'll I'll never forget this. No bother, Lucan. All right, what have you got for sale? Is there anything you can buy off of me? Mm, not that I know. The first big thing I'm going to buy is a house. Just to remind you all. Now, here is your tip. Probably the first tip of today. All right. North of the Guardian Stone is a small location. <laughs> called Anissa's Cabin. Now, you really remember Anissa's Cabin. It is the little house at the very beginning of the game with the old woman who is actually a secret witch. Alright? The reason this is so useful is because she has uh, an alchemy table and she has an enchanting table in her house. And when you fast travel to Anissa's Cabin, there is two loading cells. You loading in and you go into the cellar. And then you have both tables. Now, there is other places in the game that have that. For Dragon's Reach, we need to spawn into... Uh, we need to spawn at Dragon's Reach. Then we need to walk in the door. Then we need to go down the back. Right? Um, for here, we spawn in right in front of it. Walk a few steps. Walk in the cellar. It's right there. So that's all we need to do. Now, we are going to kill her straight up because... A big, 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 big... Big tip, bit of advice for everyone that plays this in Legendary. <laughs> uh, magic. Please be careful. Please, please, please be careful. Uh, magic is terrifying in this game. On uh, Legendary. Uh, we can deliver the Son of Alchemists. Uh, you can go and do it now if you want. That book. Go to Morthal. Go talk to Lammy, the girl who's in the shop. She'll ask you to deliver her book. The book is that, the Son of Alchemists. There is also a Son of Alchemists in the Bard's College in Solitude. On the table, when you walk in the door, down the back, in the very uh, to the right, down the very back. So, um, be sure to do that. We'll collect this letter as a memento. Now, there's some poisons up here. Frost Miriam. Not really sure what Frost Miriam's good for, but we'll pick it up anyway. Cabbages. Uh, we'll pick up them. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to break down some of the stuff we had. Because I'll level up once I do this. Now, I'm not going to do the major grip gauntlets because I'm doing two-handed. And I'm not going to do the shield because I may find use in it later. So we're going to put another point into Magicka. 150 Magicka and 150 health. And then I'm going to start pumping into mag health until it's 200. That's my plan. Um, so right now, because we've got 240, we're going to do 60% more damage. Which is wonderful. So now if we check our weapon. Again, if you remember when we got the hammer, it was doing 60-something damage. Alright. So that's where we're going to be getting to. And that's without upgrades. Now, for some prep work before we uh, go on to next quest. After we do what I'm doing here. Uh, which is that I wanted to make some more potions. We level up some alchemy. We discover some ingredients. Like, look, we just got restore health off something. Like, later you will you will be grateful you did this. Because you will pick up ingredients and you will be able to... Uh, scroll along here and figure out what you want. Please utilize this side menu. Alright? Because it is very useful. Like, it will show you what you can make with what you have. Um... Alchemy isn't supposed to be very strong at the beginning, and in my opinion, uh, enchanting is pointless. So, um, and again, guys, if, if there's too much rambling or this is too raw, we'll say, do please let me know. 
And we can change it up a bit because I whatever makes you guys happy when you're watching. I don't I don't want to make it so you guys are bored or anything. And um, but Anissa's cabin is a must-have. And yes, guys, right next to Anissa's cabin. Alright, so look at my screen if you're not aware of this. Anissa's cabin. Alright, where the river is. Right? So where the river is, so I'll show you in the map. Right here. See so where my marker is and where I'm pointing. To the river, like in between Ember Shard and Anissa's, alright? Walk just a bit down from her house, down here, and around here to the right. Past this little bush, and there's a skeleton here. There is a flawless emerald worth 750 gold at full, sp if you had haggling, the, the skill at full, that you could sell for 750. Right there. Please get it. Um, now, what I was going to say is, before we go and we do the next thing, I'd like to do some prep work. Uh, not too much, very small amount. <laughs> I'm going to improve the items we have. Pieces of armor, stuff like that. We're looking for someone in white. And remember guys, if you don't want to do a quest, walk away. I used to pick up every quest that I came across, even in the old playthroughs I did. I, I don't want to do it. There's literally no use in me doing it. I have no use to do this quest. It doesn't interest me at all. So, yeah, there is some more blue mountain flowers around here. Um, again, this isn't going to be too big of an issue when we have like a farm or something and and all that later yeah, And we'll, we'll we will I definitely am going to spend like 20 minutes probably mass making potions at one point uh, Because I am going to put more points into speech uh, We did by the way just to let you know we did get I did get backpacks with this so um, If I'm not mistaken, didn't I? Oh <laughs> I don't have them downloaded that's why. <laughs> Is she coming or? There you are. All right. So what do we need to upgrade? We're wearing one, two, three iron ingots on one steel ingot. And what does she use on the grindstone? Uh, what do we need for the ancient Lord Warhammer? So two steel ingots. Three iron ingots. We'll get three steel ingots regardless because um, I'd like to upgrade the one-handed one as well, just in case I start using it. So let's grab three of these very, very overpriced items. I get the single lockpick. <laughs> we'll grab the iron ore. We'll, we'll want it later. <laughs> um, I think it was three I needed. So let me just use this workbench really quickly. Now, we can improve it by two points. It's not a whole lot, but it is what it is. We'll take it. We'll take it. I ain't fretting. And then we'll upgrade our armor. Iron boots. Um, and our armor rating has increased once again. And we're at a... Uh, what are we? I nearly said 198. We're at 111 armor rating. Um, already. So that's good. It's, they're little, little things, guys. Little things. Now... First thing we're not walking to. We're going to go to Morthal. And we're going to walk directly north up to... Um, we're going to walk directly north up to... Ustengraf. Um, I don't really want to... <laughs> make this big trek. It's quite big. But yeah. And someone said in the comments... I, I can't remember who it was. But you, you are correct. You know, sometimes we may not flow as well as I'd want to. Sometimes we may struggle, but that's okay. You know, that doesn't matter. Um, also, I have my fan on for this, so hopefully you guys can't hear the fan in the background. I am absolutely praying you can't. Um, because if I don't use the sound thing from Majigi Madugi Bada, uh, I'll be in trouble. Now, like I said before, guys, if you remember... I just turned it off, but I instantly got warm, so I'm going to turn it back on. I just pray you guys can't hear it. So this is Lamy's place, the thumb, the thumb of the gr grass hood, or whatever it's called. Um, there she is. So talk to her. Um, uh, is it how long have you studied? Yeah, yeah, it is. I'll find a copy. I'll bring it to you. Uh, I found that book you wanted. And she gives us some potions. I think, no, she increases our alchemy. Sorry. Oh, my bad. That's even better. Sorry, I just read her say potions, and I was like, oh, she gives us potions. 
You can make some poisons with death bell and stuff, by the way. And once you get the Morthal, there's no harm in you going to the ships in the surrounding areas and collecting Nordic barnacles and stuff. Um, because Nordic barnacles are absolutely wonderful for making a potion with salmon roe and um. Oh god, you're all sitting there and you're you're screaming it right now into the screen like it's an episode of Dora or something. <clears throat> Damn it, what is it? Salmon roe, Nordic barnacle, and garlic. That's it. Yes. Yes, garlic might seem difficult to get, but there's a lot of locations with it. I'm kind of feeling peckish, man. I'm, I'm just really hoping you guys aren't, like, bored out of your teeth watching this now or anything. Like, I know this isn't the most interesting. But this is just part of the journey we have to trek through. Once we get to... Once we get to the ability... Uh, once we unlock the ability to head into Blackreach... To me, this game is significantly more open and significantly more fun to get through. So... Like, death bells do damage health. There you go. So, I was right. Yay. Um. Hello, little baby mud crab. Who the little baby mud crab? You are. And you're dead. Alright. Let's trek our way through Ustengrav. Uh, I probably won't sit and blah, blah. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Maybe I just will. Maybe I'll just keep everything in the game. Why could it? I mean, unless you guys literally complain. Just, just please tell me. Please tell me if, if it's... If it's too much or something. Um, or if, like, you're happy. Because I guess in me telling you is it not fun. I'm kind of diminishing my... Myself. Yes, I was rubbing my eye. Which, of course, I don't want to do. I don't want to... I don't want to diminish myself. And my qualities and my... My high-end talking skills. Lydia! Where is she? Where is she? I'm dying here! I'm dying here, bro! I'm dying here! Oh. At least we're cuddling me and the bandit. <laughs> ah, stoch! Stoch, stoch, stoch. Ugh. It is what it is. Oh, now you're here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, bro. All right, bro. Sure thing. Sure thing. Sure thing. Right. I decided to skip through the walking part there so you guys don't have to watch it again. <laughs> I used the vegetable soup. Lydia's here. I am ready to kick some bandit ass now, all right? Right now. They will all perish in the name of Jemima. Come here, you novice necromancer, because your damage output is annoying me. There we go. Come on, Lydia. Let's take these guys out. There we go. Did I not kill you? What the bejeebus, man? Ah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's wait 24 hours here again. Um, right. They've been dealt with this time. That's good. Skuma. I will take you. Thank you. Now, we're going to flow through Ustengrav. I'm not going to pick up too much of the side loop because uh, we have definitely taken longer than we probably should have to do all this part. But it's no biggie. It's no biggie. We may die here a few times. Uh, that's okay, guys. Remember what I said. It doesn't matter if you die. Because um, each time you come back, you get better. You keep trying. Um, you get our little hobo follower to help us. Wherever she is, she's somewhere. God only knows, knowing her. Oh, she's actually kicking ass right now. I just seen something fly by. Lids. That's the ticket, man. That's the ticket, bro. Oh, you're nuts, my dude. You're nuts. There we go. Oh, we just don't need to loot all these guys. I'll do some of the chests. 
Alright, so, do I have Berserker's Rage ready? If so, I'm gonna- yeah, I do. Alright, so I'm gonna use another vegetable soup. If I have to keep save loading, I probably won't keep using vegetable soups because I don't really want to waste them. Um, I don't want to waste them. I find the mages far more terrifying than the Draugr, if I'm honest with you guys. Oh my good golly gosh. You know what? I'm just gonna use it. Just gonna use it. It is what it is. We'll make more soup. Don't question it, James. Don't question it. What's what's worse here? Alright, you you die. I die. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Yes. This time I will go into battle using just Berserkers. Yeah, rage. No waiting around. No bullshitting. Because now we're dealing with them efficiently. There we go. Probably should have taken out the mage there because I think she might run away and heal. No, she won't. Lydia made short work of her. Now you can go in there and get some chests. That's where we come out, I'm pretty sure, later. Um. Let's wait 24 hours again. <laughs> oh, by the way, so I finished reading a manga recently. Um, I don't know if any of you read. I'm pretty sure some of you do. I fin I caught up on One Punch Man, the actual manga. Uh, I finally got around to it because I've always wanted to. And holy mother of God, what a good ass manga, man. I'm also reading a manga called uh, Kaiju number nine. It's on like chapter 60 something at the moment. That's really cool. If you read manga, I highly recommend it. It's fun so far. It's fun, for sure. That's what I'm finding with it anyway, so. Okay, is there any enemies in here? Mm, maybe? I... Oh, actually, I could wear these. These are better armor for me, aren't they? Aren't they? Yeah, they are. We get three armor... Three extra added armor rating with it. do 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 bon -bon. Alright, that's wait 24 hours because it's probably gonna run out very soon and we might end up in a big fight. And we don't want to end up in a big fight. Another reason I think I always get sidetracked and it ends up taking me far longer to get through these places is solely because I try and pick up every piece of loot when there's no point. Loot at this point in the game really isn't worth picking up unless it's like end end like dungeon chests and stuff. Um like down here, for example, I know in past playthroughs. I will do the whirlwind sprint little part for the chest that one there see see there you can whirlwind sprint uh, You can walk there uh, whirlwind sprint over there to there to there to there, but the chest is never worth it Just because we're so early in the game um, So Hello Draga well, Let's heal here just a little bit more like, I'll open every urn. Now, that time, that urn was worth opening. We just got a silver amethyst ring. Okay, that, in my opinion. Like, there's a chest in there and a potion, but... Like, I'll give you an example of why I'm going to stop doing it. We're going to go open the chest in here, all right? And I will show you how worthless it is. Four gold. Okay. C okay. Okay. Listen. That is rare. Okay? That is... That is not fair. That is completely and utterly rare, dude. That never happens. Come on, man. Now I look stupid. <laughs> God damn it. Well, we found an orcish bow, I guess. Got him. Really irritated by that now. How frustrating is that, man? <laughs> I'm sweating here. I'm I'm sweating from embarrassment, bro, of, of being so wrong. Hey, listen, I got an orcish bow, but like, seriously, man, that never happened. What was my luck? It. Kill him. Kill him. Burn, baby, burn. There we go. 
This is definitely going to be an episode that's over an hour, by the way. Like, 110%. For that reason, and because I'm late, I probably am going to have this episode compress at a smaller rate. So if you're watching this on a TV or something, you may notice a bit more of the resolution is noticeable. But it shouldn't hinder the experience because... Yeah. I got it out, and that to me is happy enough. But uh, maybe you're not happy with it? We'll see. Just let me know. As I said, the comments are there for a reason. They're for you to communicate with me. Um, let's kill these skeletons for sure. While I won't go through every... Oh my god, man. Every single bit of loot here and stuff. Uh, we have 150 in that now. Let's... Um, we can't put any points into that. We're two points off of being able to get the level 30 ones here. Getting that 25% armor bonus, which will be nice. Um, what we could do is we could get the first point of smithing, and that could help us forge an entirety. My god! What we should have done is we should have gotten the restoration perk, actually. But regardless, I am going to be doing smithing, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's just, again, you want to get the right perks at the beginning. And someone did say crafting perks aren't worth it, but I'm not getting other crafting perks. I just want smithing. Steel smithing. So anyway, we're going to drop down here. Um, very quickly uh, grab this shout. I'm not going to pick up the chests and stuff. There is a nice chest over there, but I just don't care right now. All right. Become ethereal, my friends, is very good. It's a very, very good shout. Wait, what? I think we're walking by the chest anyway, so... Are we? Yeah, we are. Might as well just pick it up. This second half of the stream has just turned into talk about chests, man. See, that, that one gave us leather racers. That one was shit. Oh, we didn't need to come up here. Oh, you go behind it. Oh. <laughs> Okie dokie. I will ask for likes and dislikes when I get into at least 10 episodes. Until then, I don't feel I deserve you guys to ask for them and stuff full-heartedly. And the comments are solely just because I like having the communication from you guys. Yeah, there is an enemy over there, but again. I'm trying to get into the habit of not doing every single little thing I come across so I can enjoy a game more. It's probably 90% of the reason I don't enjoy playing this game. Um, now, let's... Yeah, that, that was going to fail just because we had no stamina. And guess what? There's enemies now, so now we have to fight the enemies. Oh, Skellington, my boner bros. Because the random bits of coin aren't what I want to collect. What I want to collect are gems and jewelry. And that is how we will make money in my own personal val valuable opinion i to this day don't know how to get across these traps right away i'm letting you all know now if you're ever wondering why i just want to cross them it's not because i don't care it's because i don't know <laughs> it's because i do not know now lydia i am in a little bit of a pickle here a little bit of a pickle would really appreciate you helping me kill this very big swelled spidey. Look how late he spawned in, man. Please don't go. Um, I think just because poison is scary, man. Poison is scary, so that's why I decided to use up my potions there. Because we don't actually have many potions, would you believe it or not, right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. We were... Oh, we made it to the end. Sweet. Chamber secrets. Now, this is an absolute exception for picking up loot. Because in here... Uh, it's just here, you know? It's a, it's right for the picking, bro. We, we, we gotta pick up that gold. An orcish mace... Jesus, man. I'm gonna... Not not too unlucky with, with some of these. Like, look at that. Seven gold. 
An amethyst. James just has to keep opening the empty urns because he's not paying attention at all. But now we can go to Kynes Grove, <laughs> which uh, I'm happy to do next one. I'm not gonna. I might do some start like drifting off a little from the main quest now, uh, from the next episode onwards. Because I think what we'll do is we'll do Kynes Grove, and you know, unlock that uh, part of the map. Uh, even though we already have it with Windhelm, but, you know, a bit further south from Windhelm. Um, more dragons. Uh, progression in the main story to where I believe the main story actually starts to get fun. Uh, another orcish maze. Jesus. Um, and then we will... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. There's some guilds here that are probably useful. We're doing two-handed, so I definitely think the Companions is worth giving a shot at. Uh, I don't want to be a werewolf, guys, if I'm honest. Um, right now, but later, maybe. Now, remember, werewolves and vampires are great. Later in the game, fully leveled, vampires are wonderful. Wonderful. Beginning of the game, I love werewolves. Half of the game, I love werewolves. Full vampires. You just spam magic, man. You just throw enemies everywhere. <laughs> it's so funny. Right. Uh, so, we have to go to Riverwood. Let's talk to uh, Delphine the Dishwasher. Oh, look at this, man. I'm actually doing the main... I'm actually making progress. This, I'm really proud of myself. If any of you have watched me a long time, you'll know as well. This is not like me. Um... Just very quickly, while I'm here, want to throw out some of the stuff. My inventory is definitely going to be getting full. I'll skip this part, though. All right, well, I sold some of the stuff. Oh, hello, Falcon. Yeah. Looks like that's it. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Like, I might do some side quests like this and stuff if they're useful to my character. Um, Like, if they actually help and stuff. I don't want to just be doing side quests I come across because I want to empty my journal. That's not a reason to do it. Um, all right, I'd like to rent the attic room. Um, stand in here, stand here, wait an hour. Delphina's talking to us. She gave us the horn. I'm going to have her head on to Kynes Grove. All right, so we can at least, at least make a start. Oh, I need to cough to out of fit. <laughs> Can we wait an hour here again? All right, now for this part, just a tip: you need to exhaust her um, dialogue for her to to actually talk to you and progress the main quests. I look here; you'll see me do it. If you don't remember anyway, or you don't actually realize it. Ah, I got the, the glitch where it does the... it moves the dialogue up. So what's the part you're not telling me? Alright, give her a minute to get herself ready. First I'll steal all her shit. Because she's got some nice ingredients here, bro. And some potions that we can sell later, so... Wheat. Gives you our gold, little will ya? Alright, she's gone. Let's wait an hour. And Delphin. Delphin, the Dolphin. Alright, so now we can go and finish the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, and my most dreaded part of the entire campaign is done. Which is going to Iversed, climbing the throat of the world. The entirety of the first Bleak Falls Barrow quest. All of this stuff, we're done. Once we get this ritual here done, I have, I feel, 90% of the dread I feel is gone. It's gone. I don't feel it. Because this is the part I always complain about. And I am, I haven't even been complaining. I've been staying positive, bro. And that might sound like, like the bare minimum, but if you watch me two years doing these, you'll know it's very difficult for me to do that sometimes, so. Alright, let's make a proper save here. Just in case something goes wrong. Let's wait for the rest of the gray beards. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, here we go. 
We're about to be very powerful. And I'm not dreading. I'm not dreading turning on Skyrim Meter Man. It's great. You know? I'm enjoying this playthrough. I'm looking forward to seeing where this character gets to. <sighs> I was absolutely addicted to Elden Ring, by the way. I platinumed Elden Ring, guys. Like, uh, a month ago, nearly. I just couldn't put it down. God, I love that game. So much. So, what my plan is next time while they're doing their greeting is, um... We are going to... So, first of all, if you have watched this episode so far, thank you. I'm going to talk a bit now, so I would appreciate if you listen to it. Uh, it's not a goodbye just yet. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me a chance to do this again. And thank you for being here for this third episode. The longest of all so far. Um, again, we hopefully will keep on schedule with an episode every day. Uh, and I will let you know in the community tab if there's not going to be. Um, do leave a comment. Uh, leaving any criticism, any form of uh, things you feel we should do for this playthrough, any quests and stuff. I have an idea of a few quests I'd like to do, like that dwarven armor, dwarven smithing quest in the back of the map, you know, where you fall down that really deep pit. <laughs> and there's certain shouts I'm going to utilize, definitely going to utilize some enchanting, alchemy, all that later in the game, blah blah blah. We're going to finish the main quest. That is my goal, which I will do. Will I do the DLCs? I don't know. I'm saying that because I don't even, like, uh, I'm so used to me not even doing the main quest, but we shall see. Like, remember, on my Thief playthrough, I got to Kynesgrove, and then I gave up. <laughs> so that was, uh, that was another thing. Uh, we, and so we're not going to do that, to, obviously, now, because our character is much more efficient than then. Um, let's wait till daytime. I like when it looks daytime outside here. Uh, we're gonna also make a proper save uh, There we go And yes Hopefully I'll be on tomorrow So anyway, hopefully there hasn't been any audio issues with the fan or anything like that And hopefully you all will have a wonderful day uh, Thank you for being here We're gonna go to Kynesgrove in the next episode And then we're gonna see what else we can do I'll probably go off of your comments a bit as well Have a great day guys